Psalms 139, 13 through 16. Oh yes, you shaped me first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God. You are breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made bit by bit, how I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life, all prepared before I even lived one day. Romans 8.31 If God is for us, who can be against us? We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Mark 11.24 I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. Philippians 1.20 I eagerly expect and hope that I will have nothing to be ashamed of. I will speak very boldly and honor Christ in my body. Now, as always, whether I live or die. Psalm 71.17 Oh God, you have taught me ever since I was young. And I still talk about the miracles you have done. Ooh, glory to God. I still talk about the miracles, God, you have done. Matthew 6, 33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. Psalm 71. 17. Oh God, you have taught me ever since I was young, and I still talk about the miracles you have done. Praise God. It's good to hear more than once. Psalms 91 4. He will cover you with his feathers, he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Yes, Lord. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the spiritual nature produces love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There are no laws against things like that. Thank you, Lord. Romans 8:18. 8, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to me. Let's read that again. Romans 8:18. 8, this is Paul speaking. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to me. Thank you, Lord. Philippians 1, 6. I am convinced that God, who began this good work in you, 
will carry it through to completion on the day of Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 28. God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Thank you, Lord. Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. For the Lord your God is going with you. He will fight for you against your enemies, and he will give you victory. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. Let me read that again. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Praise God. Amen. Second Peter 1 3. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Philippians 4, 6-8. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. But we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you'll be able to stand, so you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thank God. He gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 16. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And let's end with this particular scripture, Romans 8, 38. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. 
neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth beneath, indeed. Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. My goodness. That's good to know. That's the good news, and that is good to know. Well, I guess I really better get in and study the word, but it's so wonderful to have you stop by and allow us to share the word with you. So God bless you. May God strengthen you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord just give you revelation and illumination as you dig and as you meditate in the word of the Lord, as you begin to seek God as never before. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And to God, be all the glory. I am out of here. All right.